welcome back to the channel. So as some of you know that follow the channel will know I've been waiting for the shifter to come for my DC5. And three and a half weeks later, guess what? It's finally arrived. Um, so I'm going to show you around the shifter first. Um, it's actually a really, really good quality. Um, a lot better quality than I thought it was going to be. Um, yeah, I bought the... This is obviously not the box that it came in, but it just so happened to be in the garage, so I thought, why not? So what it is, is a K-tuned replica um, shifter. The quality of it... I'll take this off. The quality of it is really, really good. Let's see if I can get this to focus. The quality of the shifter is really good. It's really quite heavy. It's heavier than I thought it was going to be. Um, yeah, I've also bought the k um metal bushes and bolts to go with it. Um, yeah, the, I don't really know. I've never ever had the, or been near a real one, so I don't know. But I didn't expect the quality to be so good. Um, so yeah, what we're going to be doing in this video is installing the k tuned replica shifter you can see in below there it's all cut out to fit exactly around there so it's for a hundred pounds like it's really not it's not too bad so yeah what we're doing in this video is fitting the replica k tuned shifter and the k tuned metal shift uh, the k tuned metal bushes so yeah we'll get the middle of the car stripped out first and start installing this see how it is Before we go to fitting the shifter, I've been looking at it and the machining on this is really a lot better than I thought it was going to be. Like it's all, everything's, it's just machined so well. Um, for £100 you'd wonder how they're really making money on this. I have seen a lot of people on the forums saying that they're made in the same factory as the K-Tune ones, it just doesn't have the, obviously the K-Tune branding. Um, some people have said the springs on these aren't as good but it is, it is really... The springs in there are really tight, so yeah, I'm, I'm happy with the purchase. Um, obviously, then them are the, the genuine kitchen um, washers, but yeah, it, it is. It's just it's machined so well. I, I don't know how you can buy something like this for a hundred pounds. Um, maybe it won't be as good whenever I fit it, but sure, we'll see once we have it fitted what it's like. So yeah, we'll get into the fitting process now. Okay, so jumping straight into the install of the shifter. Um, I've removed the center console which is along with two screws here um, two screws in the middle which come on here and then two here you also have to pop off your little cover here which I have the, the USB connections on so yeah once you've done that um, the loom is on with these little clips pop them all off and you're on to four um, 12mm bolts I think what I'm first going to do is disconnect the two cables. Um, I think if I take this, the two or the four bolts off, and then try and disconnect the cables, it'll be moving about too much. So what I'm going to do is disconnect the cables here, which um, I've already been in here and fitted the new um, Durling bushes. I think they're called. Um, fitted the one there, one in here, and I think there was another one. Whenever we ordered it, I think we got three of them. Can't quite wait, remember. So yeah, we'll disconnect the cables here, both sides, and then we'll disconnect them here, and then we'll move on to the four 12mm bolts. Okay, so that's the two R clips removed that are holding on the cables. Um, and pop out, I think. Yeah, so then pop out 
the bolt holding it on. So yeah, just pop out the bolt that's going through here, and then I think this bolt here on this side stays on the shifter. So what you need to do is take off the little bushes. Now I think these are the, the I think they were called Durling, Durling bushes. Um, so yeah, remove them. So that's the bushes off. Still in good shape. Haven't been in the in the car for too long. So that's them removed, this bolt removed, and that's the other bush that we changed the last time. I think this will be quite hard to get out now. If memory serves me right, it was quite hard to get this one in. So yeah, we'll leave that there for the meantime. So yeah, that's the two cables disconnected off the shifter, as you can see. Um, quite a lot of play on the shifter there. Uh, I know it's not connected to the cables, but there's still that very loose feeling in it, um, obviously with wear and tear um, this is probably came. So yeah, um, moving on to popping out these ones. Okay. Now. So that's that little metal uh, clip that comes off here. Um, I just used my tiny little flathead screwdriver to pop it up and it's came off. There might have been an easier way, I don't know, it's my first time doing it. Um, so that's that one off and that should be the cable nearly ready to come out. I hope, yeah. So yeah, that's one cable out, and now on to the next one, which is a little bit different, has this sort of plastic cover on it. Um, I don't know whether I can just pop that across. I'll have a look at it first. Okay, yeah, so after a bit of persuasion, um, I've worked out this side here sort of twists. So if you twist it to this side and then slide it out, um, it does take a wee bit of prising just to get it to move. but. Yeah, so twist it towards the passenger side of the car and then pull it out. So that's the two shifters released. Um, time to move on to the four 12 mil bolts. Okay, so I've cracked off the four, mil, four 12 mils with a ratchet. Now I'm going to be really lazy and use my gun to remove the rest of them. Obviously these bolts won't be used again, I've bought the kitchen ones, so get them out quick. Yeah, that should be the shifter out, let get this bolt and that one out, and yeah, that's the OEM shifter out of the car. So, time to start fitting the replica one. Okay, so this is the OEM shifter beside the new kitchen replica shifter. As I was saying, this is very loose compared to obviously made of plastic. Obviously, must be nice 17 years old, very worn out. Um, this one, a lot stiffer. Bigger spring in there, the spring's probably quite worn out. Um, yeah, so what we'll do now is get it set in the car and get the kitchen washers and bolts down. Okay, in. so that's the shifter set in place. Um, I just wanted to show you these are the standard OEM bolts that we took off. Um, these are the new kitchen metal washers. And uh, these are the Allen bolts that come with the kitchen. I think these are about £22 on uh, Tigawa. So yeah, I'm glad I went for them because obviously the washers fit perfectly down in there. And if I was to go with the standard OEM bolt, um, there would obviously be that wee bit of movement, obviously with no no washer, uh, well no big metal washer anyway, just the small flat washer. So yeah, I'll get these four bolts screwed down in and then we'll start connecting up the shifter. Okay, so just as I was about to start putting the bolts in, I have came across the first flaw of the replica shifter. Can anyone notice? The hole is not circle, it's more of an oval shape which means this part here is not fitting down in. Um, it's just sitting at an angle. So yeah, I'm going to have to get that out and file, file the edge off that. Not a big problem but just shows you 
you can see there it's just not circular just shows you this these are the wee things that maybe with the replica you wouldn't find in the kitchen one okay so just a wee bit of filing on this edge got that to drop in um, with a six six mil six mil allen key it's not going to focus six mil allen key tighten down all the bolts so that is the shifter fitted to the car now it's time to connect up the cables and then put the center console back in and then we can see what it feels like yeah this is quite hard to do with one hand but that's one of the shifters so this one comes in and then twists so i'll twist that back into place whenever i've got two hands and then this one should go in below like that and then just pop through and then we can set the cold clip into the front of it here okay so that's everything built back up um, you can see yourself how short the throw is now on it it's so short compared to the OEM one um, obviously this here part is adjustable um, the height it's came at is okay with me and maybe lower it a wee bit once I get used to it um, I think I'm just going to leave it sort of raw looking like this here for a while um, I suppose when I spend the money on it I may as well look at it for a while I know it's not the tidiest looking I did set the center console on but whenever you go to into reverse like that it is hitting the inner plastics of the, the center console so I think I think that's with all the k and hybrid racing shifters it does that um, so it maybe just needs a wee dremel just to take a wee bit out of it but yeah I'm gonna keep it raw looking for a while um, I don't know if I shorten this will it make the throw feel even shorter um, or maybe with it being higher it's maybe shorter I don't know but yeah, um, that's it fitted. Quite an easy job to be honest. Um, I just watched a YouTube video like this one and worked out how to do it. So hopefully this can help somebody else out with fitting it. Um, there is a couple of boys on the Integra form have said they'd maybe be interested in buying the replica. I would however definitely buy the kitchen um, metal bushes. Um, I wouldn't want to run just the bolt through there um, with the with a wee washer on it um, I think that's a definite buy there for £22 for all the the difference it's made you know it's nice and stiff there it's not going to move so yeah I'm going to keep it keep it looking race car I suppose for a while until I get bored of it um, and yeah I'll let you know how it feels obviously whenever we can drive so yeah that's the K-tuned replica shifter fitted replica um, shifter fitted um, I hope this video maybe helps somebody out if they're gonna be doing the same thing um, and I obviously will let you know what it feels like once we can start driving again uh, the next video is going to be on the Mini Cooper S um, I don't know if you've seen it on Vicky's channel we have changed the boot lid and then in my other video you've seen the exhaust um, and the next video is going to be we are gonna fit uh, ram air induction kit to it so hopefully we'll see some differences in the way it sounds you know whenever we've got that fitted so yeah and, and as always thank you very much for watching and i'll catch you in the next one mm -hmm.